Hello, my name is Nancy Lambie, and I go to Arbor Grove Baptist Church. And for years, my husband and I made fried apple pies for the church, and the church would help, help out. And in making the fried pies, I want to show everyone how we made fried pies. First of all, you have all your ingredients ready. It takes four and a half cups of self-rising flour, and you have a can of milk, and you always shake your can of milk before you open it. And you open it like this, and you have four um, tablespoons of sugar and two-thirds cup of uh, Crisco oil. And then you always have your beater ready and your big spoon ready, and three eggs. You have those ready. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start first. You put your eggs in. We did this when we were younger. Roger and I was a lot younger. And, um, and the first thing you want to do is to beat your eggs up real good. And then, first thing you add is your sugar. Four tablespoons of sugar. And you beat that real good. It's very important to beat each thing as you're putting it together. That makes the dough mix up so much better. You see what you have? See how creamy that looks? It's so good if you beat it up good together. And then you put your oil in. Two thirds cups of oil. And you beat that. And then you put your full can of evaporated milk. And what I always do is just put a drip of water in here, just a little baby spoonful, and wash out your can. You get every bit of that milk that way. Okay, let me get that good mixed up here. Now you got all your liquids in here all mixed up real good. And you take your beater out and you start using your big spoon. And you want to just put a little flour in at a time. You don't dip it all in one time. If you do your dough, it makes your dough hard to, to, to work with. So you just want to put a little bit of time and you mix it you put on here till you get all this in here but you just mix put a little bit of time and mix it as you go the times you have to hold your your uh, bowl here while you're beating. Let's get the rest of it in there. Just beat it, stir it real gentle. Now, if you think your dough is too wet, you can add just a little bit more flour because you're going to have to work with this. You don't want it to be sticky. Now, I'm going to have to add just a little bit more flour. There's still rising flour here. Just get me a handful here. And you want to have your dough already, your flour here already on your on your board here to roll it out. I strong and young like I used to be. It's real hard to stare, but you keep a mixing it together here. I think I've got this already here. I might just sprinkle just a little bit over here before I pour it out in here. 
Go right out on your place here. Oh, that's great out of the bow. You want you want all the dough out of your bowl. You don't want to leave any in there because might be enough to make another pie. You don't want to make as many pies. This usually makes uh, 30 or more. This recipe does. And you just start going from the outer edges coming in. Working it like this. And you just keep on doing this real gentle, not real hard. You just want a, a gentle hand on this, you know. Okay, now it's ready to turn it over. And now you want to make sure you got a ball here. See, this, this really feels good and soft. This is going to be easy to work with. You can tell, I can tell by the way it feels. Okay. Now you want to sprinkle just a little bit more flour here on top here. Just a little bit. That's right. Oh, yeah. Get your gallon sized bag and you put flour all in here. Turn it over and get flour on both sides. Okay. Get this all picked up here. Like this. Get it in a ball. Uh, it feels so good. And then you just put it in your bag. Like this. And you put it in your refrigerator. And you leave it at least overnight. I do. And you want to close it shut real good here. And take it to the refrigerator. Well, I've had my share of sorrow and a walk up the rocky road. And I know what it is to have a burden and to carry a heavy load. But I don't regret my journey while traveling here below. Cause I'm gonna leave here shouting when my time comes to go. I'm gonna leave here shouting when I'm heading to the promised land. If I'm too feeble to praise the Lord. When I draw my final breath Look, I'm gonna fall asleep In a cradle of love Never feel the sting of death Oh, just say a big hallelujah Cause I mean to meet my goal Cause I'm gonna leave here shouting When my time comes to go oh, I'm gonna leave here shouting When I'm heading to the promised land Cause I'm too feeble to praise the Lord Just lift up Angels will bear me over on wings as white as snow. Cause I'm gonna leave here shouting when my time comes to go. I just couldn't walk this road alone. When I'm hungry, he feeds me. When I'm thirsty. 
day is my water I couldn't make it without Jesus What would I do? Good morning, everyone. I enjoyed my cup of coffee with fried apple pies this morning. Lisa and I made. Reminds me of the years gone by from 1985 till 2010. We made fried apple pies every year at Arbor Grove Baptist Church. So Roger and I would make the pies, but you know the one that really helped me was B. Blackburn. She's the one that uh, cooked the apples every time. Uh, except, I think, a couple years, uh, Kenny's mother, Marie Anderson, she cooked the apples and spiced them. But Beak, she'd cook them, and it would take her a week to cook enough apples for us to make the pies at Arbor Grove. And the last two or three years that we made pies at Arbor Grove, we made over 2,000 pies each time. And we made pies for three days, three days, and... Um, uh, in October and we'd sell them at the Apple Festival and then through the last few years we got so that um, everybody was coming to the fellowship hall to buy them so we didn't have to go to the Apple Festival and uh, people would come and buy 150 at a time and take them to the workplace and um, we just feel good. Was this something that we're all so proud of that we, we were all working for the Lord and such good fellowship. Everybody had a good time. Pat and Gil, they helped us. And, oh, I can't remember everyone, but oh, there's so many people that helped us that are really gone to be with the Lord now. But those were good times that we had at our road. But we just made a few this morning. And um, they're so good. Thank you all for watching the video. I did what I might sing in at least.